Does anyone know who this is? I only just learned about him today. Fake Drake. No. So apparently, I was getting like the lore breakdown. This guy based his entire life off looking like Drake. It's all, it's the only thing he has. And he recently got sent to cease and desist from Drake because he's such a clown and everything he does is so embarrassing that it actually makes Drake look bad because some people might not realize that's not Drake in certain cases. So he recently got a cease and desist and he was really upset about it. He even made two songs about it. One of them's even called Cease and Desist. <laughs> so like he makes music as fake Drake. It's fucking sad. Here, I'll, I'll play, I'll play a little. Well, no, 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 I won't play a clip. I don't want to give him any wiggle room for like a DMCA. But he recently engaged in a, a celebrity boxing match versus M to the K. And it is silly. I won't spoil who wins. But, you know, it might, it might go the way you're expecting. Things there is some vault and Wi-Fi. I haven't actually watched the fight, I just know the ending. And I've seen a couple of clips. <laughs> so this is fake Drake. <laughs> oh ho ho ho! Okay. <laughs> Pretty ex pretty extreme cover up there, like he was practicing the tornado drills at school. These motherfuckers are not boxing. Hey, this is boxing at the highest level. This is a literal middle school bathroom fight. <laughs> Come on, fake Drake. Get him with that certified... Oh, no! A full split. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is so dumb. <laughs> I disagree. It's just... It's two men duking it out like men. No, fake Drake, fight back! Thanks to the bitch Cody and the Prime Canadian. And w, or the resub W Asian and the bitch Cody. I bet this is the round where he really pops off. There we go. Slowest jab in the history of athletics. Come on, this this is fake Drake right here. Oh, nice. Really going for it, huge lunge. He's running out of gas, which is surprising. He feel he seems like a guy that would have like unlimited stamina. Oh god. Have mercy. This is a close fight. Looks you some board. He started out of gas. <laughs> It doesn't show it in this video, but he actually came to this event- Voice crack. He came to this event with a fake Snoop Dogg, too, in his corner. He walked out with a fake Snoop Dogg as well. Oh, 
Okay, wait a minute. That was actually he actually landed a hit. Oh shit. Keep going. Man, they are both so tired. Holy shit. The classic one-legged slow jab. Yeah, it's kind of like a ballerina. He goes onto his toes for the jab for the added power. He's he's a kinesiology expert. You you just don't get it. I can't believe fake Drake didn't win. He got robbed. Now I have seen a couple of his no jumper clips, but I don't think I can show them because he brings his OnlyFans girlfriend out there to just insult him to his face. So I don't know if I can show that, but I'll kind of give you a basic overview from the clips I've seen. So... No Jumper interviews him, like, talking about, like, hey, what's it like to just, you know, be the Drake doppelganger? You know, do you find it sad? And then he's like, oh, no, that's great. I'm currently fucking this OnlyFans girl named Stephanie. And then he's like, hey, come on, bring, bring out Stephanie. So Stephanie comes out and just fucking roasting him the whole time. Uh, Adam, the host, asks, like, you know, are you fucking him? And she's like, well, there's... On, on our OnlyFans, there definitely is some stuff. <laughs> like, just tiptoeing around the subject entirely. He also brags about how Stephanie made him make an OnlyFans. And then it doesn't even sound like he gets to have sex with his own girlfriend. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's rough. It's rough. The title of the fourth video? Yeah, that's one of the clips I saw. Also, a lot of it is spent with her... I don't, how do I explain it? So, like, when they're asking her, like, do you even like him? She's like, I think he's aesthetic and reminds me of someone. Drake. Which I think is cool. No, 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 I think he's aesthetic. He, she just keeps using the word aesthetic to describe him in relation to his appearance to Drake. It was very uncomfortable. Why can't you show it? Because she's not wearing a bra. She has ab like absolutely massive honkers and just like tons of like cleavage showing. And it must be cold in the room. I don't think Twitch would be okay with it. Let's read some Drexler and Big Don. The gift sub Drexler. I'm doing alright, aluminum. They allow this is this is different than a hot tub stream though. It's not it's not like a bikini or anything. It's it's hard to explain. I d I I'm gonna use my better judgment and assume this would not be okay. Thanks, Risa Blinguini. Just play the audio. Oh, yeah, here, I can do that. Here. I just did a video the other with day who? on OnlyFans with Stephanie. Who's Stephanie? She's got, like, 2.1 million. Ooh. What? what um, so how'd you meet her? But I met her on Instagram, and then I, then I told her to come over. Uh -huh. and it was a quick thing, you know? Quick thing. Uh, and then, so what made you decide that you wanted to go all in on the... The on the OnlyFans side of things. She made him. I mean, I mean, why not? Right. Why wouldn't I want to get a bag? Right. Right. For what it's worth, his OnlyFans doesn't exactly do that well. He just sometimes, as I understand it, appears on Stephanie's OnlyFans in threesomes. She mentions how much she loves threesomes multiple times, 
And I'm not even sure if he gets to participate or if he's just kind of there like as a referee for the threesome. Because she just keeps tiptoeing around it. I think Adam asks point blank three times to Stephanie, does he get to have sex with you? And then she just keeps saying things like, you see, the thing is I like threesomes. Like she never actually like confirms it. So it's it, it's rough. It is sad. But so are there you? Right there. Are you f on there? But yeah, wait, what? So we can see your. You, you gotta subscribe. You gotta subscribe oh, to my OnlyFans. Oh, this Stephanie. Hey, baby. How you doing? Yeah. Stretch that mic out a little bit so that it's like closer. Thanks to the bitch, bud. Well. Oh, get some just, jet. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Where did you come from? So we met from IG. He plays a support role. <laughs> Hey, hold the mic perfect for her, bitch boy. Oh, damn. Oh, that's another thing. The co-host here just constantly insults the guy. But it's so crazy because we personally know each other for yeah. years. Yeah. You and him. Yeah. Oh, so this must that's be awkward for you. That's been my girl before. What? You that's slept with him? That's been my girl. That's nothing new. I feel like you have to check. What's the name of the video? It was the fourth one about how his you girlfriend will him leave him. Fans? No. Oh. We fuck with each other. We're friends. But okay. they're now fighting. And doing their own thing, but he slid my DMs. Went on a date. It was cute. Everything. I just feel like I'm just attracted to him. Uh huh. He reminds me of someone. Who? Like him. And that's enough. Like him. It's not enough for him. You don't need Drake. You just need someone who reminds you of Drake. I think that aesthetic purposes, he looks good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Great. Like, it. That, like that just hurts to hear. For aesthetic purposes, I think he looks good. He's Speaking aesthetically, he looks okay, and he reminds me of Drake, which is all I need. Yeah, so his whole career is the wrong word, but it's what he's trying to build off of looking like Drake, is really sad, and I just learned about him today, and I was fascinated. The, the whole interview is rough for the guy, though. Barely anything against Toss. Nah, I don't know, man. Those hard nipples and, like, that much cleavage, I don't know. I'm not taking any chances with Twitch. Not. Not me. Things are resub sadiator. Still haven't played that new DLC yet, Jaded. No. Nah. hear that Drake's dropping another album tonight? Well, according to Fake Drake, they're having a, a collab song soon. Oh, that's another thing I learned about. He faked... So, he used to fake proof that him and Drake knew each other and were friends. So, he, like, he staged this FaceTime. And this... I actually vaguely remember this going viral on Twitter. Ooh, thank you for the 25 gift subs, Crisp. God damn. Thank you for the generosity, man. I hope you're having a good night. Thank you, Crisp. What up, y'all? It's Jermaine Dupree, and you're watching All Urban Central. Oh, we outside. I'm going to call the boy right now, and I'm going to congratulate him for dropping that album because, man, that <laughs> shit was hard. You already know it's the OVO thing. <laughs> Drake, pick up. It's you. Hey, yo, bro, it's Izzy. What's up? Yo, that album was hard, bro. Congratulations on the drop. It's the OVO team. Much love. Are we still dropping? Yes, sir. All right, bro, it's big <laughs> OVO team. You already know. <laughs> wow. Yo, so you see that shit? Nobody believed. God, God did. did. Drake did. God damn right. That's huge. That's so huge. Drake sent him a cease and desist, by the way. I already spoiled that ending. They, they, I also don't think him and Drake ever actually talked, ever. It was him just shouting at him, hoping he'd reciprocate. Things are some Osmundo and Brayden in Big Ski.
He's recent razzled. Yeah, I had no idea fake Drake was like a big thing. This was all new to me. Very interesting though. He's not alone. So there's fake Snoop Dogg, who's actually made like a whole career out of impersonating Snoop Dogg. His is like a lot less sad though. He knows it's just kind of like a joke thing. So he just goes to be there. Like he'll just be hired to appear as Snoop for a little bit of buzz. And he doesn't do anything beyond that. But there's also a Lil Dirk lookalike whose name is Perkio. And his is really sad. His is straight delusional. Not as bad as fake Drake, but Perkyo's is rough. They even made a song together, Fake Drake and Perkyo. Yeah, Attack of the Clones. Thanks to the tier one, Mary, and the resub, Kim, Reddish, and Paco. That's good to hear, Crisp. And thanks again, man. You're so late to all these doppelgangers. Yeah, I just learned about them. I don't know how they flew under the radar for me for so long. Or if I heard about them back then, it must have just, like, left my head pretty quickly. But it's so sad. Things of bits, Cody. At least fake Dirk actually hung out with the real Dirk. Yeah, until the real Dirk ended up hating him. I learned about that too. So fake Dirk, what did he do? He did some shit to insult the real Dirk. So then the real Dirk unfollowed him and cut all ties with him. But Perkyo still believes that they're tight. I don't remember what he did though. I forgot. <laughs>